I have seen most laptop users having the issues of battery draining fast and that can be really trouble when they are traveling out of home or office or any other situation where they need the maximum power backup but unfortunately they are not getting it. But no problem, today in this video guys I am going to share a few amazing tricks and some important video settings that you need to apply and I am pretty sure after applying it you will find the difference in the backup and the issue of battery draining very fast will be resolved. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. And the very first thing that I would recommend you, if you are on a laptop and you have the issues of battery draining fast, and if you are using any kind of live wallpaper, then kindly go ahead, either disable it or uninstall it. So in order to disable, click on the system tray arrow icon at the right hand corner of your screen. You will find the lively or any other wallpaper engine you are using look for it right click on it and click on exit and if you want to uninstall then you can bring up the settings right click on the windows icon go to settings click on apps from the left hand side then click on installed apps and look for your wallpaper engine like i'm using the lively wallpaper on the right of it you can click on the three dot and click uninstall so keep in mind these kind of live wallpaper maintain the continuous animation and require additional processing from the CPU and the GPU which consume more energy. Alright now next what you have to do, you need to reduce the brightness and lower the refresh rate. So in the settings only from the left hand side click on system. Then you have to look for display. Scroll down a bit under the brightness and color you will find the brightness option. And lower the brightness level will be the more battery backup you will be getting. And the maximum you make it more brighter the more consumption of the battery will be occupied. Okay, so try to keep around 70 or 75 percent. Next, you need to scroll down and here in the related setting, you will find the advanced display, click on it and then below you will find choose a refresh rate. So along with the brightness, higher refresh rate can also impact the battery consumption. So higher the refresh rate, sooner the battery will drain. But we know the refresh rate basically helps to get a smoother motion but for you, if the battery is the main issue, you can try to reduce it. Like if you click on the drop down here on the right of it. On my end, I have only 60 Hertz. But if you are having a proper and the modern desktop, modern monitor, you may find around 120, 160, 140. So whatever it's been selected, try to reduce it. Like what I can do for my end, instead of 60 Hertz, I can try 48.03 Hertz. So this is something optional that you can try and if you're okay by changing by reducing the refresh rate then you are good to go if not then you can keep it at least to 60 hertz additionally below the refresh rate you may find dynamic refresh rate and it says to help save power windows adjust the refresh rate up to the selected rate above so if this option is being highlighted if this support on your computer then you can enable this option as well Okay, and now we have to choose the proper battery power plan. So in the settings only from the left hand side, click on system. Then you have to look for power and battery. Click on it. And here on the top, you will find the energy recommendation. This is a very useful feature. And if you click on it, it will give you all the suggestion to maintain the energy saving. So either you can apply them all from here by clicking on apply all. But as of now, I will be doing everything manually. So I can go back and click on power mode where it says optimize your device click on the drop down then it will say plugged in so in the plugged in section click on the drop down and choose it to best performance so basically when the charger has been plugged in we don't have to worry about the battery but so that period of time we can get the best performance but when it's running on the battery we can keep it to best power efficiency so that we can get the maximum battery backup then you scroll down a bit and you'll find the energy saver option and it says reduce power consumption and increase battery life by limiting some background activities. So we have to increase the battery life. So what you can do here where it says turn energy saver on automatically when battery level is at. So on the drop down from the right hand side, keep it to at least 30%. And what will happen once the battery level will reach to this percent, the battery saver will be automatically enabled. If you are facing some major battery drain problem, then you can go ahead and enable this always use energy saver. 
Now after this, we also need to cut down the background activity, reducing the hidden battery drain from the background application. So again, in the settings only from the left hand side, click on apps. Then scroll down a bit and somewhere you will find a startup apps or a startup. You need to click on it. This will display all kind of application program installed on your device and it will let you know which program has been either enabled on the startup or which has been disabled. So all the third party application like Microsoft Team, Phone Link, Skype, Discord, Steam. I'm not using too much of application, so it's not listed. But on your laptop, you may find uh, tons of application. So go ahead and disable all the third party application enabled here in the startup section. So next, after disabling the startup, what else you can do? In settings only from the left hand side, click on privacy and security. Then click on recommendation and offer and disable all these options displayed over here like allow website to access my language list. These basically run in the background and consume your battery. Once disabled, come back, do the same with the speech, singing, typing, personalization and also disable the search that eat a lot of resources and even the battery. Once done, come down to the app permission. Now you also need to disable these kind of application like location, radios, because they send some kind of connection and signals that run in the background and eat a lot of battery. Same you can do with the other application as well, like calendar, call history, email, task, messaging, radios. Open it and disable it. Okay, now next we have to set the screen and sleep timer to the shorter duration. So for that, click on Windows search, type here power option and from the suggestion, you have to click on edit power plan. This will bring up the power plan settings. Here where it says turn off the display on battery, you have to keep it to three minutes and plugged in to five minutes. Below put the computer to sleep. Uh, it should be selected to 10 minutes and 15 minutes. You can shorter the time and make it to five minutes for battery and 10 minutes for plugged in. Then click on save changes, close it. Then bring up the task manager, right click on the taskbar, choose task manager. And here in the task manager on the right in top, you will find the efficiency mode. If your computer or your laptop support the efficiency mode, click on it and enable it. Next, right click on the windows icon, choose device manager. In the device manager, we have to disable the idle USB devices. So USB port can draw the battery power even when they are idle. So what exactly you have to do? At the bottom somewhere you will find universal serial bus controller, double click on it. This will display all kind of USB port available on your computer. You need to make a right click on it and click on properties. In the properties, click on the power management and make sure this allow the computer to turn off this device to save power has been checked. Do the same with all the USB port displayed under the universal serial bus controller. And once you are done, the final recommendation is turn off all the unused wireless feature. So the wireless features such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, a location nearby, always search for the connection and signals resulting the unnecessary battery drain. So on your Windows 11 laptop, if you click on this uh, Wi-Fi icon at the right hand corner, it will display all kind of your connection. And you can see I'm not using the Bluetooth, even it's been enabled and somewhere it's eating my battery. And similarly, let's say on your laptop also, if you're using the Ethernet connection, then try to disable the Wi-Fi. Then you also may get other options like mobile hotspot, nearby sharing. Also make sure that it's been disabled. All right. So once you have applied these changes on your laptop, I'm pretty sure you will find the difference. And this will, of course, fix the problem of laptop battery draining very fast and it will increase the battery backup. So that's all guys for today. And hopefully this video will surely help you. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.